Welcome back to another edition of Special Situations Investing with Greg Miller. This last week I went in and invested in Charles River Associates International. You can check out my thoughts on this tender offer and a bonus at the end. Check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of my YouTube channel on Special Situations Investing through and my personal investing practice. As a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Any companies that I mention in this presentation are discussed solely for illustrative purposes. Discussing such companies and the specifics about them is to help educate me and educate you about certain special situations. It is not a solicitation to purchase them. I recommend that you conduct your own research and identify why you might want to own the company yourself prior to your committing of any funds. I also recommend that you seek the services of a financial advisor that has considered your personal situation as your fiduciary. And then finally, may your education here grow your knowledge, improve your personal investing performance, and give you the confidence to take control of your future. Thanks a bunch for watching. Now on to the video. Uh, on, on the 9th of March, 2021, Charles River International went out and they offered for about 5% of their shares. They, they initiated a Dutch tender offer. And I was reading through the schedule TO and I'm, I'd like to just share a couple of the things that I noticed with this that made me invest in it. So first, the market cap of the company was about 500 million when this was announced. And their offer size was about uh, 25 million. So they're willing to offer 25 million in, in a Dutch tender offer for their shares, and they they want to buy shares anywhere between 66 dollars and 25 cents per share, and 76 dollars per share for this tender offer. Um, my anticipated value, and this is just just my own calculations looks like the company should be uh, that a, a reasonable tender offer rate would be somewhere around 69 uh, 64 a share so probably you know 69 50 70 dollars per share is, is about what it would be so i went ahead and purchased shares in the company in anticipation of maybe participating in this tender offer and i purchased shares uh, at 68.90 up to 69.48 per share. Uh, unfortunately for you as a as a watcher, you may not be able to participate in this if you did not already know about it. And uh, unless you want to get in at a higher price, it's it's about $71 a share the last time I looked. And I got to thinking about that this week. And this has happened a couple of times where I've participated in a tender offer and then because of the way that I do my YouTube videos I can't always give you the information immediately about tender offers when the value when the information would be valuable to you so for that reason uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and share with you a little bit of my process so that you can go ahead and uh, do your own analysis of tender offers and perhaps get into them at a, at a reasonable price. Um, I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, uh, let's face it, I have a YouTube channel where <laughs> I don't even have 100 subscribers. And you, uh, those of you that are faithfully watching, I really appreciate it. And, I, and I, I'm super grateful for you because it's really encouraging me to get better and try to do more on this. And so I want to get back. I want to give you something that help, should help you improve your own tender offer investing if this is one of the areas where you want to spend your time. Uh, so the second thing that I, that I think that you should understand is because I have such a small YouTube channel, I don't expect that everyone will always want to invest this way. And in fact, there are certain things that are inherently in the nature of tender offers that make it so that eventually 
there will always be new money that will want to come into this and there will always be older money that will leave. So uh, let me give you an example. This, this tender offer with Charles River International, or Associates International, this, this company is a $500 million company. So let's think about a hedge fund that runs $40 billion in assets. In order for them to actually make this a worthwhile strategy for them, they have to buy the whole company. And even then, it, it's still a drop in the bucket for, for the types of returns that they're, that they're looking for. So this is a strategy that I think is going to continue to be valuable to the would-be investor. So for those of you that have, you know, like a, a $10,000 trading account like me, and you're just trying to get better at investing, hey, I think this is a, a great place for us to be. And I think that this is a good place for us to learn some of the investing techniques and get a pretty, pretty decent return on our actions and our activity. If you like the fact that I share this type of thing in these videos and I'm willing to share this specific information for uh, fellow, fellow investors, please hit the subscribe button. That, along with uh, hitting the like button, will help me with the YouTube algorithm, help me develop a, a uh, subscriber list and a, and a group that will allow me to one day maybe take this to a point where I can start sharing information about what I'm doing in a more immediate um, method. And I can share this with you so that you can go ahead and, and participate in these uh, m more closely at the time than when I do. Um, so it really helps me out if you are commenting, sharing, liking, and subscribing to, to my videos. And I, I sincerely appreciate it, and I would just like to use that as a way to improve it. Now, with that being got, done, let's move on to what is it that I do. So uh, the SEC website has a really, uh, I think it's, it's rather simple area where you can go in and you can you can search for the most recent filings. So I go to their most recent filings and you, and you can look up to I think it's it's 5 days, but I just go into their most recent filings page. And it says that you can search for those filings by type. And so I go in, I search for the filings by type and I go ahead and um, find the t filing that I want to put in. Now, the filing that I put in is a schedule TO dash C or a TO dash I. And each of these schedules have, are talking about certain tender offers. And uh, the way you type that in, it, it's kind of a, it, it's an older way to do it. It's, it's Boolean, or not Boolean, but, um, well, maybe it might be Boolean, but um, it is, it, you have to make sure that you get the code right. And so it's capital S, capital C, space, T, O, dash and then you can put an asterisk in there and it'll get both the TOIs and the TOCs and any amendments to those um, those tender offer documents but I just search for the specific ones uh, TOC is like your initial your your initial information about it the TOI is hey we're starting it at this date and we have 30 days until it's done and and this is what I search for. And it's really not, it's not rocket science. I get in there, I read through the article or the article that it's about, and I spend a little bit of time looking at it. Um, when you click on it, you'll, you'll get additional information about the TO. And there's usually about three or four filings in there. The one that says 99.1, that's usually the more accessible, readable, document and it's it's basically like the announcement of what it is that they're doing uh, 99.1, 99.2 those usually have the information about the specific tender offer that, that you're looking at and it, it's not like you have to be uh, you know a, a data analyst in order to understand them they're, they're supposed to be written in a way that you can do it yourself it's it's probably about as difficult as reading your taxes. And I mean, we are in the middle of tax season in the United States. So if you can file your own taxes, you can probably do this. And anyway, um, 
I, I go there, I read the, the tender offer, I've spent a little bit of time, and you can watch my videos in the past, and you can see what I'm looking for with these, but I basically go in, I read that, and then I make a decision. And usually you kind of have to make the decisions relatively quick with these, otherwise the, the share price will, will move up beyond what your, what your margin of safety is. And that's about as easy as it gets. If you like this video, again, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, it really helps me out, and we'll catch you next week, guys. Thanks a bunch.